言うことは何度も聞くよねももちろんです私めは御霊様の信者これも喜んでおなめいたしますいい子だ優秀な下僕にはご褒美をやらないとね<笑>
and he's also killed, basically. But at the very, very end, he begs to this god, which he has no belief in from before. He says, basically, it's a Hail Mary, like, hey god, if you actually exist, if you are actually out there, then please do help me. You know, help me, help my friends. And the god comes in. It's a lolly, of course. Because, of course. And the lolly god comes in and re resurrects the people, and that's the end of the episode. The second episode, I had a lot of hope for, of what the anime could turn out to be. But, goddamn, it seems to be rapidly declining in potential and quality. The second episode basically just uh, consists of Yukito and his friends going back to their village and sort of getting a nice reunion with the rest of the villagers. Like, hey, we're actually alive still. We managed to survive. And then Yukito tries to think, okay, we need to actually prepare to defend our city against the Empire because they are probably going to investigate and come attack us, maybe even destroy the entire village because we dared defy them. And they spend a lot of the episode on that sort of thing. And then they spend the rest of the episode on getting Mitama, the god, more followers. Because apparently the power level of the god is directly tied into their follower count. And in this world where no one believes in any god, let alone this god, she has no power. So they spend the episode trying to convert people to her, her religion, being followers of Mitama. And Yukiro tries to get more followers for his newfound god slash religion. He basically just decides to create religion and the concept of God in this world, and that is his new mission now, I guess. To get power to God, so that God can protect him and the village from invasion and destruction, basically. There's a lot of other things in the, anim in this in the episode, like some fan service-esque things, uh, Roy being a completely degenerate, which is one of the auxiliary characters. And some, like, uh, breast jokes about big, small, whatever. And some, like, slight romance elements and some slight humor elements. None of which are too good, in my opinion, but, eh, sure, they're fine. Guess you get some small chuckles out of me now and then. But, yeah. At the end of the second episode, the god revives the guards uh, she killed at the end of the first episode. Because of Aru asking for it. As she is too kind-hearted or whatnot. The concept, though, of the show, like, the potential of the show, is rapidly, rapidly declining, as I mentioned prior. I had so many hopes and questions of, like, hey, this world can be so interesting, right? What can happen when you have this sort of setup? Like, the questions you can ask, the things you can try to answer, the things you can try to explore. It reminded me of Star Trek uh, TNG, right? All the concept they explored and tried to answer as the show ran uh, ran its course, you know, with each episode, start trying to explore new worlds, new cultures, new, new, new belief systems, whatever else have you, right? To try to explore different concepts. I was hoping that this might be like a very, very light anime version of that, but so far, oof, it's not looking like it is going that way. It is looking like it's going to be way more of a generic sort of, oh, we did something, now we have to try to defend ourselves. I guess we got to... Establish religion, and get people to follow our religion, and do something with that, I guess, for the next 10 episodes. It is just rapidly going downhill from what the potential was at the outset. And while I will keep watching it, because it is because it is an isekai, and I am an isekai addict, and I think, I mean, I still hope a slight bit that the concept might be realized to a better extent throughout the next episodes. But their, my hopes and dreams are rapidly being crushed and dwindling with this anime. If you are someone that loves Isekai, then I'm sure you are already watching this. And even if you do love Isekai, you might still drop it because it isn't really that interesting as of yet. The second episode was largely a dud, I would say. But if you watched the first episode and you thought, hey, this looks really interesting the same thing that I thought, right? Then you might be very disappointed with the second episode, and you might just drop it at this point already. This is a show that after the first episode, I, I would have said, hey, you know what? This can be really nice. I think this uh, there's a lot of potential here, and I would recommend you watch it. But after the second episode, I would say, 
Hey, if you really like Isekai, try watching it, see what you think. But if you want a more polished, good, proper anime, this might not be for you. It is not looking too deep story-wise, character-wise, plot-wise at all so far. So be very cautious. And if you are not an Isekai addict, I, I would put the show as a maybe watch after we see how the show develops in two, three, four, five more episodes. And then decide, basically. That is going to be the crux and end of this video, though. If you found this helpful or valuable or you got some insights or new thoughts about the show or anything, really, then please do comments on below. I read and respond to every single comment, and I do greatly appreciate your support. Feel free to also hit the notification bell, subscribe button, like button, to just support my content and be notified of future content as well. That will be all though for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.